Please stand, face the flag, put your right hand over your heart, ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, John Bur Good morning, John Burroughs. I'm Justin Brower, and today we'll be asking people who they think will win this year's Super Bowl. We got the Philadelphia Eagles versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Let's go ask people who they think will win. Let's go. All right, so who am I with today? Edgar. Mason. All right, so who do you guys think is going to win this year's Super Bowl against the Chiefs and the Eagles? Man, you already see the jersey. The Eagles. I do. I All do. the way. All the way. Uh, I, I don't really watch football, but I love Edgar, so the Eagles. What do you think it's going to score is going to be? Uh, I'll say 31 to 7. Wow, blowout. Huh? Blowout, blowout, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Um, what do you think? What do you think? I think the Eagles. I'm also a Ravens yeah. fan, so we lose everything. So, you know, I have to go for the winning team here, and I really think it's going to be the Eagles. I feel like Eagles, yeah. I have no comment. If you guys can guess, what do you think the score will be by the end of it? 37 oh. to 32. 37 to 32? Yeah. 14 to 7. All right. Um, I think maybe the Chiefs. Fly, Eagles, fly. I think the Eagles will win the Super Bowl. What do you think the score is going to be? 37 to 34. That sounds like a nice game. I would say Chiefs 21-10. Uh, I think the Eagles. I think the Chiefs. Uh, I don't watch football. Good morning, Bears. Today is our last show of the week, and we're excited for rent this weekend and still getting ready for Valentine's Day on Tuesday. I'm Aiden Robertson. And I'm Cece Abbey. It's Friday, February 10th, and Good Morning John Burroughs starts right now. One, two, three. Welcome back. Link Crew would like to thank all freshmen who attended Palatine's Day on the baseball field yesterday. And today is the last day to fill out Link Crew's Mathematics survey. They are for all students, and it's a great way to help you find new friends on campus. Results will be available on Tuesday. Today is also the last day that ASU will be selling their Valentine's Day grams. Look for them in the quad for details. Speaking of Valentine's, ASB is having a Valentine's Spirit Day, where red if you're in a relationship, Pink if it's complicated, or white if you're single next Tuesday. Also today on campus, a rep from Jostens will be in the quad at lunch to answer any questions regarding junior class rings. Check the bulletin and jostens.com for more details. Switching gears to our programs, Drama's Rent opens tonight and will run through the weekend. It's a great show about New York bohemian life in the 90s. Tickets are available on Drama's website and range from $10 to $35. Viewer discretion is advised. If you're currently enrolled in a dual enrollment program and wish to drop it, your last chance may be coming up. Through the bulletin or district website, visit the page to learn how to drop dual enrollment classes. This past week has been full of breaking news, and we have Laszlo here to cover just a few. Here he is with our latest installment of On the Bear Trail. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Many Americans were looking up in the sky last week searching for the infamous white Chinese spy balloon that was floating above the United States. It was first spotted in Alaska and was re-spotted in Billings, Montana, home to one of many nuclear weapon silos in the United States on Wednesday of last week. The Department of Defense rapidly alerted the president and held a meeting with top military aides. The balloon was shot down and confirmed on Friday of last week. An F-22 fighter jet shot the balloon off the coast of South Carolina and sent the falling debris into the ocean. U.S. Navy divers were deployed to recover all of the fallen debris for examination. In world news, a devastating and deadly 7.8 earthquake hit the border of Turkey and Syria on Monday of this week, sending buildings and bridges plummeting towards the ground. The current death toll sits around 11,345 people as of Wednesday the 8th. The United States military has transported two civilian urban search and rescue teams to Turkey to assist in an earthquake relief effort according to the U.S. Department of Defense, as well as transporting the first responders to and from the most impacted areas. Across the border in rebel Syria, no help has arrived for that country due to their ongoing civil war. 
Finally, in sports news, one of the most extraordinary records in the NBA history has stood for nearly 39 years until LeBron James grabbed it for himself. The Los Angeles Lakers forward broke Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's career scoring record of 38,387 points on Tuesday. The record had seemed to be set in stone, untouched for decades, even by greats like Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. But the 38-year-old LeBron James in his 20th season is still going good. That's all for me. Now back to you in the studio. In club news, CSF is currently holding their membership drive. Seniors, remember that you need to apply for this semester in order to get Steel Bear status. CSF is also holding its first meeting of the semester on Tuesday at lunch in a small gym. That's all for this week, Bears. We'll be back on Tuesday for more announcements. Signing off, I'm CeCe Abbey. And I'm Aiden Robertson. Have a great long weekend, Bears, and enjoy the Super Bowl.